Welcome to Wednesday, February 22nd, 2023 on this very cold Wednesday morning. Your Day Weather Podcast brought to you by Cowboy State Daily and YDOT. Well, Arctic is the best way to describe what's going to be happening over the next 24 to 36 hours across not only the Rockies and High Plains, but a large part of the nation across the northern tier. Bitter cold temperatures and bitter cold wind chills and occasional snow is going to continue throughout the course of the day today and into early tonight. The snow is going to be heaviest in south central Wyoming, into central Wyoming, parts of northeastern Wyoming. There does appear to be a little bit of a lighter snow that's going to fall in extreme southeastern Wyoming into the front range of Colorado. It's still going to snow in all areas, but it does look like there won't be as much in some of the front range locations, but everybody is going to get into the act. Blowing, drifting snow is occurring right now, causing very hazardous or impossible travel in livestock weather conditions. Now, overnight lows tonight are going to fall way below zero in many areas. There's going to be a lot of locations 5 to 15 below. We could see some locations 20 to 25 below or colder with wind chills of 30 to 40 below. Now, on Thursday, winds are going to ease and snow showers will linger in and near the mountains, but the significant snow will be over. So Thursday, actually not that much wind, but it's just going to be super cold. Now, temperatures will moderate Friday into the weekend. However, that means increasing wind. And we've got blowing snow problems again, especially in Wyoming along the I-80 corridor. And the pattern, folks, is going to stay very active into early March. There's more coming, basically. So after we get done with this system, there are a couple of other systems coming late in the weekend. There's another one coming middle of next week, and there's probably another one by the following weekend. So there's no really easing of this active pattern in the long term. Now, if you take a look at it across the nation, look at all the pink and the blue and the purple and the red. We basically have coast to coast winter storm conditions for the nation all across the northern tier of the United States through the Great Lakes and into the Northeast. So this is affecting a huge part of the nation. All the red areas you see basically is where the blizzard warnings are in effect and where conditions are gonna be at the worst. Speaking of probably the worst weather at the time I made this podcast, Rock Springs, Wyoming, temperature of three degrees, moderate snow, sustained winds of 43, gusting to 59, Wind chill to 25 degrees below zero. So I think we could call that a blizzard situation in Sweetwater County, Wyoming, along Interstate 80 this morning. As that Arctic surge goes through, strong northeast winds going along the I-80 corridor causing whiteout conditions, moderate to heavy snow and those strong winds. In the satellite image this morning, you can see the low here in Utah and the clouds from it coming on through this is that overrunning situation, bringing in that warmer, moist air over the Arctic air. Speaking of the Arctic air, you see that blue surge that's going down across western Kansas and eastern Colorado? That's the Arctic front. That's the satellite imagery picking up the very cold air with that Arctic front. So you can see the Arctic air sliding underneath the warmer clouds, relatively speaking, and moisture coming up and over on top of that Arctic air. So that's what's going to be generating the snowfall today. And you can see that Arctic air surge coming on through as we go through the next 24 to 36 hours. Kind of comes in, then it starts to back up a bit by late tomorrow and into Friday. Overnight temperatures will be very cold. These are the forecasted wind chill values by tomorrow morning. This is the snowfall that will be coming across the region here basically over the next 48 hours. So you can see that the axis of the heaviest snow is right here. Just along north and south is where the heaviest snow will fall. Notice there's a bit of a notch. Southeastern Wyoming, the front range of Colorado here, and the far southern Nebraska panhandle. Snow will still fall, but amounts are going to be lighter as the axis has shifted maybe just a little tiny bit to the north, but enough to spare at least the Colorado front range and the southeast parts of Wyoming from the heaviest snow. But snow will fall and snow will accumulate in all those areas that you see in the blue and the pink areas. Very heavy snow falling in this area right here. And of course, that's focused right along Interstate 80. But all of the high country going to do very well in this weather pattern. And if we get to focus in a little bit more closely, you can see the path of the heavier snow axis over the next 24 hours. Then here's your wind. These are the winds that are going to be occurring today, strongest through central 
and South Central Wyoming, then into the high country of Colorado, into Utah as well, but pretty steady and brisk northeast winds in this area here, causing some blowing and drifting of snow as well. There's your 500 millibar chart this morning, showing the low dipping down into Utah, the big high in the eastern Pacific. By Friday night into Saturday, that all shifts out. Part of the low actually breaks off and spins off the coast of California, bringing rain and snow to California, but there's a little gap here. So what this westerly flow will do is help the Arctic air to retreat to the east, which it will do. That will lead to some warmer temperatures. And there you go. The temperature anomaly by Sunday morning shows that here's your Arctic air mass right here over Minnesota headed east. And we get a little bit of a Chinook. That's the good news. The Chinook warms us up. The bad news, the Chinook makes it windy. And blowing snow will be occurring in the areas. See, the same areas that are going to be getting the heaviest snow, especially in this area right here, are going to see the winds. Then as we get into Sunday afternoon and evening, we've got a quick moving low going through Colorado. That's going to produce mountain snow. We still have the big high in the eastern Pacific, so the pattern essentially doesn't change in the sense that we will have the pattern that makes us susceptible to get more storms and get more fronts. This is by next Thursday and the next Friday. Another low swinging through Colorado. This is by the following Monday. As we get into the 5th and 6th of March, there's another large trough coming because this high is still there. This high is still there. So the pattern, at least the stormiest weather across North America, will be in Western North America in the long term. Stay warm. We'll see you tomorrow.